Hey Kat here. Somebody has viewed the tutorial I made on drawing in applets and had a question in regards to polygons. So I'm going to quickly explain to you how to use the draw polygon feature to draw a polygon. So firstly, a polygon is a figure, especially a closed plane figure, having three or more usually straight sides. So for example, a triangle is a polygon. It's a closed in shape, it's got three straight sides in this case, that means it has three vertices. Now the question I was asked was how to draw the letter M as a polygon. So firstly, that can be done except it won't look exactly as an M. Because a polygon is a closed shape, it will have a closed point at the bottom. With that in mind, I'll explain how we would go about creating this letter M. A polygon, so we have G dot draw polygon, and we give it an integer array containing all the X vertices, an integer array containing all the Y vertices, and then a number that is the number of vertices in the polygon. Let's start quickly with the vertices. We've got the bottom left corner, top left, the middle point, top right, and bottom right. So that means there's five vertices. That means that as I make my integer arrays with all the X points and then all the Y points, they will each have five items in there. So let's say I create an array for all the X vertices. So I'll call it X curly braces. So what it needs to say is if this is my screen, how far in are those points? So bottom left, let's say for example that was 20. That means that the top left is in the same line with that, so that is also 20. Let's say for example that that middle one is a further 10 pixels across the screen, and then the two end points are also 10 along from that, so 40 and 40. Okay, so that's just saying how far across the screen each of those points are. Just quickly as well, this one has been my first point, second point, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, so we've done our X variables, now let's look at our Y variables. And my first one, let's say, for, so we're looking at how far down the screen is. My first one, let's say that that is 40 down the screen. So I'm keeping this fairly square here. That means my number two is 20. My middle point is halfway between the two at 30. My fourth point is back up at 20. And my last point there is back at 40. Obviously you can change these dimensions to get the shape that you want. Now in my actual line of code in my g.draw polygon, I give the x array and in the second one I give my y array. So let's quickly go to Eclipse and code this example. So looking in Eclipse, I've just created a new class called the letter M because that's the polygon we wanted to create. So what we looked at a moment ago was that we needed an integer array to contain all the x variables and we gave them the values of, let me see, 20, 20, 30, 40 and 40. And then we created another integer array with all our y variables and they had the values uh, they were 40, 20, 30, 20, 40. Okay. Then in paint, we used g.draw polygon. And then we had to give it the array containing all the x points, the variable containing all the y points, and then we need to tell it how many points there are all up. So if we just run that, let's have a look. 
and we've got our letter M that's closed in at the bottom. Now if I said fill polygon that would end up a solid block. Okay so remember that when we line them up like this the 20 comma 40 is the first point in my letter M. The 2020, so looking, lining them up, the 2020 is the second point, which is the top left corner of my M. The 3030 is that middle low point of the M. 4020 is the top right, and 4040 is the bottom right. So that is how you use the integer arrays and the polygon to create the shape of your choice. Remember that the number of vertices is always equal to the number of items in your array. Your X array must contain the same number of items as your Y array. Good luck with polygons!